Um, Peter from Clare GA, I really crunched down at the moment uh, because uh, I've set up here in a, a smaller room, but we're okay, we're ready to go. And um, we're going to have a good morning as well. It's a horrible morning outside, so I hope you're inside and I hope you have a bit of shelter. And we're going to be doing a, a PE hurling session for children uh, in primary school. So at the start of it will be, uh, everybody should be able to do it. All children from junior, infants, even preschool, all the way up to sixth class. And as we go along, we're going to make things a little bit more difficult. Um, so and at the end, it's problem children. So uh, parents, if you're supervising here, the first 15 minutes will be for all children. And uh, then um, the younger ones can, can uh, keep doing it, keep trying different things, maybe adapt it with different types of equipment and stuff like that. So the equipment that we're looking for today, first of all, we we'll look for a hurley. A small hurley would be very, very good. Or a wooden spoon, okay? Or a wooden spoon. So that's a very small hurley. We don't want to do any damage. We're looking for five cones or even five paper plates, okay? Or something. Even if you don't have anything, you can imagine cones. So uh, I have five paper plates here or five cones, okay? I have a bean bag or a sock. A small sock folded up would be perfect because sometimes the children are going to be Sorry there now. Sometimes the children are going to be soloing, so it's a balance, uh, a bean bag or a sock. Okay, some kind of a bouncy ball, a soft light ball, that's a tennis ball, or this one here is a soft ball as well. So something like that, and that's the equipment that we need. Okay, so we'll start off with a warm up. Okay, uh, but first of all, I'm going to put out my five cones in the space that I have. So one, two, three, four. Fine. So find the space that you have as well, okay? And see how we go there with that. Next job is get the hand that you write with, the hand that you hold the pencil with, okay? The hand that you colour with, that's going to be your hurley hand. It's very important to hold the hurley in that hand or the wooden spoon, and wooden spoon would be perfect. And see how my thumb is on the hurley here. And see this part of it here, the toe of the hurley or the nose of the hurley. Okay, I want to point the nose away from my smelly sock because my uh, the nose doesn't want to smell my smelly socks here like that. Okay, and wiggle up and down like this. So this is a wrist flexibility exercise, the wrist ac activation exercise. So if you just make different shapes to your wrist like that, if you want to hold your um, hand, your hand with your catching hand, hold your hardly hand with your catching hand. Left-handed children, you would hold the hardly in this hand. So mammies and daddies, you might check that out now at the moment. See how your children are getting on with that. So wiggle up and down like that. Okay. Wiggle up and down. Okay. This is another one here. Waggle over and back. Get to get the wrist working. Waggle your hurley over and back like that. Okay. It doesn't have to be very fast. Again, your thumb is pressed here on this part already. Your index finger is here. And just developing this beautiful wrist movement. We saw Tony Kelly getting an all star at the weekend. And his first touch is excellent. His flicks are very good. And this is part of the skill of flicking and of first touch and of, of close control is having a good grip and good wrist movement as well. So back your wiggle again. Wiggle up and down the hurley. Okay, and feel feel your arm. Okay, have a look at your wrist. Okay, and the last one, see, can you make any circles? Like that, can you make any circles? So I'm going for 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and all the way around like that. Okay, and back the other way. Good job, okay, lovely. Okay, okay so we're up on our feet. We're up on our feet and uh, the feet are the most important thing to move, that's why my camera is on my feet. So you might be able to run in your space like this. You might be able to run out, turn around and run back. That might be what you get to. Or maybe it's just jogging on the spot. Like that. Jogging on the spot. Up and down like that. Lovely stuff. Keep that going. Okay. Brilliant stuff. Just got a message here to say that uh, 
our camera quality might be a little bit better today. So that's very good now if you can hear that. So when we're jogging on the spot or when we're running, we're trying to have a straight back. And what we're really trying to do is our hip bone here is here. And that's like a hinge of the door. And I really would like to get my hip bone to allow my knee to come, parents, to 90 degrees, to a right angle. So now you're trying to get your knees up around your tummy. Lovely stuff. Okay, great job. Kick out your legs. I hope you've got a bottle of water in. Uh, last Wednesday, we said, well, last Wednesday, and I said I was going to try and have two litres of water every day. Now, some days I've managed to do it, and other days I, I haven't. And uh, learning new habits and learning new skills. Some days you do very well, and other days you don't. But even if you forget about it some days, like practicing or like anything else, go back and try it again. So today, now again, I'm going to try it. And this is a great start because we're doing our exercise. And we're, when, when, when we're exercising, we, we feel like drinking lots of water. Okay. So have a little drink there now. And we go again one more time. So knees up very, very high as we're jogging at the spot. Lovely, and kick out my legs again. Very good. Okay, so the first part of this is try and get our heart beating fast. So children, if you can put your hand on your heart now, I see it's starting to beat fast yet. If it does, that means that you could be getting a really big word called cardiovascular exercise. Cardio means your heart. Okay, and if you feel yourself panting, okay, that means your lungs are getting a workout. That's the vascular part of it. Okay, very good. So we go one more time, and this time we're going to count together to 10 as we do our, our giant in the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick out your legs again. Oh, this stuff, that's great. Great to get a nice start like that. Now, I'm going to... Lift up this camera a little bit and bring it out from under the table a little bit. There's no, because now we're going to look at my, I don't really like my t-shirt. Eat, sleep, hurling, repeat. Okay. So here we go now. When I'm jogging on the spot, I'm trying to get my arms to go like this. So I have a bend in my elbow like the letter L and both of them like this. And as Kelvin Harrell, the coach who is working in state, my hand goes from my hip to my lip as I'm jogging. Okay, so here I go. Up like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I kick out your legs. And I need another drink of water. So everyone get another sip of water there for yourself. Good stuff. No, great job. So now we're ready to move on to our fast feet, our zigzagging that we did the last couple of weeks. And I think this is a really brilliant skill. The skill of dodging, the skill of evasion. So I have my five markers down. You do your best yourself. And maybe you have two or three children doing this at the same time. So here I go, zigzagging, 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 and zigzagging. And then I can do it the way back. Super stuff. Brilliant stuff. Okay. I said the Shannon family up in the time they're doing this out the moment. Rory and Searsha. And Cahal and all, you might be doing it, but Rory and Tiersha, I'd say, probably are. Okay, so I'm zigzagging again. Good 
good stuff and kick out your legs and get your breath. And if you're more than one child, let them off down a small sector of turns. You don't have to go in my instruction. Okay? So here we're going again. As I'm going to my right there, it's going across the face. My right foot leaves and my left foot follows. And then I put my left foot in front, left foot leaves, right left leg follows. Change it, change it, and back. And on the way back, one, two, three, four, and five. And take a rest again. Good stuff. So I hope you're getting on well with that. Okay. If you're more than one child, let them off again. Let them do it. Okay. So this time, I go to pretend there's a little fire on the ground. And I have to use my feet to push it out. Now I can't leave my feet on the ground for long or my shoes could burn. And I try to put out the fire. I'm going to take lots and lots and lots of little steps. So you're listening to this now. Just listen to this and then you'll all get to go. And then I go back. Now, everybody got to go with that. Put out that fire. Zigzagging. Zigzagging. Brilliant zigzagging. All the way along zigzagging. Putting out that fire. Loads of different little, little steps. Keep your heels off the ground as you're going. Watch my heels too. Here my heels are off the ground. So this part of my foot, the ball of my foot, this part, that's the part that does most of the, the movements. And that's like the spring. My knees bend and my hips bend and I'm in a nice strong position. I'll just show you this now again. My knees bend, my knees bend, my hips bend and I'm in a strong position as I'm doing my zigzagging. So if you try to push me over now, it will be hard. Okay, go there again with that now. One more go with it. Out and about. Okay, we're going to make a little change now for the children, okay? So at color number three, if you have five colors out, at color number three, we're going to go all the way around the circle. But we're constantly going to face the same way. So watch out, I'm facing the camera. One, two, and in color number three, I go all around. On the way back, and on the way back. Now I'm doing it on the way back. Color number three, all the way around my feet. Out, and back. Good stuff. So you'll notice when you're watching hurling being played, and at the weekend now, Limerick got lots of all stars. They had nine all stars. And some of the players are really good at catching the ball. Now, very often when players are catching the ball, all we ever see is their hands. We don't watch what their feet are doing. But their feet are just as important and maybe even more important to catch a ball. Okay? So very often when the ball is in the air, the ball is there, I need to move my feet around. Around. And eventually then I jump and I catch the ball. My head nearly went through the ceiling that time. So I need to be careful with my high jumping. Okay, do that one more time. Number one, number two, all the way around the color. Color number three, number four, number five, and on the way back. Five, four, all the way around number three. Three, two, and one. And if you know something, if you did that a few times every week, you'd get really good at agility, dodging players. Really good at pushing up your right foot, really good at pushing up your left foot. Okay, Shane O'Donnell is brilliant at agility. Podge Collins is brilliant at agility. Okay, Ryan Taylor is brilliant at agility as well. Now, just check your laces. My lace is open. We don't want to crash into the fridge. You get your laces tight. Our memory and he does that for you. Okay, good stuff. So the next one we're doing is high jumping. But first of all, I'm going to get a little drink again. So when we're jumping, sometimes we jump for long distances. Other times we, 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 we jump for height. So we're going to start today with jumping for height. Jumping for height, I'm going to try and get my heels off the ground. Try and get my He'll touch my bottom when I'm, when I'm jumping, and I'm going to try and land in the space again. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have a go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'll run back to the start. And everybody will have a go at that. So everybody take a go at that now. Okay, brilliant stuff. Right, ready to go. I'm gonna show you my upper body now as I'm jumping. Just, I need to be very careful now that I can't jump my highest in case my head goes through the ceiling. Okay, so off I go, because no one's end up in the bathroom upstairs. Okay, so I'm jumping for five. One, two, three, four, five. And I stop. And landing is very, very important when you're jumping. So try that. That 10 jumps that I did. No child should do any more than 20 jumps, I think. Okay, but that's very good for your bones and your muscles. So I've done 10. Everybody else have your go now and see how you get on. Love this stuff. Great job. And we're ready to go. I have to get the message there from all the children in the CPS and all the children in Skull Priest 3 in Clock Lee. And also in Grail School, we need to talk. So I want to say hello to all of you and I hope that you're enjoying this. Okay, good stuff. Next one. We're going to try now and do, get our bean bag or our sock out. Okay, so there's a bean bag or there's a sock here. So we're going to put it on the hurley very, very carefully. I'm going to use the bean bag because it's blue and there's a better chance that you're going to see that. Like that, okay? So this is called lateral movement, which is all part of agility. So I'm going to go sideways now, I'm going to use the line of cones as my guide. And all I do is, out like this, and back like this. Okay? If I have a friend or a brother or sister with me, I'll put the bean bag in each of their hands, and then they're going to have a go again. So here I go, right? Lateral movement. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hand it over, okay? I'll show you from this angle so you can see it. My thumb is on the Harley. The nose of the Harley, like Tony Kelly, is pointed out to my tummy. Like that, like your own hair, he's the hurler of the year. Okay, here I go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, brilliant. Now, sometimes I see children doing it with their feet like this, right? I'm looking for straight feet, but sometimes they may not have straight feet. So tell me now, are these straight feet? I don't think so. What about this time? No, I don't think so either. They're kind of like crusty to count feet. This time I'm going to go straight feet, so my heels off the ground again. Okay, parents, my feet should be parallel. Knees bend again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Brilliant stuff. Okay, we keep this going. But now, all the children, you're going to do this with the beanbag when you get to the end. You're going to do a catch like a tiger or a shark. So here I go. One, two, three, four. Beanbag up. Catch it like that. I go back here a little bit so you can see it. Beanbag up. Catch it like that. And the other thing when you're catching it, Maybe you'll make a big noise like a tiger. So this is one, two, three, four. Rawr. One, two, three, four. We go again. One, two, three, four. Rawr. One, two, three, four. Rawr. Okay. I can hear some of the tiger noises, I think. The house down the road, the children must be doing it, and I can hear them. They're really loud. It's like a zoo in there. Ready to go. One, two, three, four. Rawr. One, two, three, four. Rawr. Okay, now we're going to do it again. And if you're in junior infant or senior infant and for our first class and you do one of those, oh sorry, you would get 100 points, but you get zero points for that one. But this is the 100 points, like that. If you're in junior, seniors, or first class. If you're in second, third, or fourth class, you get 50 points for each one of those. And if you're in fourth, fifth, or sixth class, you get 10 points for those. 
We're going to let it go now for one minute and 30 seconds, which is 90 seconds. And we're going to see how many points you can get. So you'll, you'll have to show me if you get more than 100 points. If you can get more than 100 points. And if you can, and that means that if you can take a photograph and send it to my Twitter, which is at Hurling Coach. Okay, so I go again. One, two, three, four. If I was in junior infants, that would be 100 points. If I was in second class, that would be 50 points. And if I was in fifth class, that would be 10 points. One, two, three, four. Oh, it fell that time, so I don't get anything that time. So go again now. There's 45 seconds gone. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's one minute gone now. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, the 75 seconds gone. This is the last go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Well done. Well done. I'm really enjoying this out today. I love playing hurling. I love catching. I love moving my feet. I love learning agility. I love exercise. I'm sweating now. My heart is beating nice and fast. And I'm breathing heavily as well. And now it's time to get another drink of water. So everybody get a drink. I will take a break for a few seconds again. Lovely stuff. Brilliant. Now, the time we're just learning crouching, lifting, and leaving it at the next cone and running back. So here I go. I start at the first cone, run out, leave it at the second one, run back, run forward again, pick it up, leave it at the third cone, run back, run forward again, leave it at the fourth cone, run back, run forward again, leave it at the fifth cone, run back, run forward again, and bring it all the way back to the first cone. Okay, so I'm going to get you to set up that. Okay, and I'm going to give you, okay, if you're in, Junior infants, senior infants, or first class, you have 30 seconds to do that. If you're in fourth, fifth, or sixth, sorry, if you're in second, third, or fourth, you're going to get, do it in 20 seconds. And if you're in fifth or sixth, you only have 12 seconds to do it. Okay, so we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, well done, everybody. Take a break. Good stuff. Get another drink of water again. Doing great now. So we do it again one more time. And I'm going to do Richie. So beanbag in your hand, hurley in your hurley hand. And when we run, this is how my hurley is. We shouldn't run with a long hurley because that throws us down. We should run with a short hurley like that. And you know, if you hold your hurley in your hand as much as possible, even if you're watching television, hold it like that. If you're out with your family or daddy, try and bring your hurley with you. It does start to feel more comfortable in your hands. Okay, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to try and do it in 12 seconds with the 56 sets. We'll see how we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Oh, just got there. Well done, everybody. Great stuff. Okay, we're doing really well. Now, what I'd like to do is a little bit of one copy, if we can. Okay? So, maybe and daddies, you might have to help the smaller children with this. Because we all have one leg that we like to stand on, and then maybe we have one leg that we're not great at standing on. 
But if you're playing hurling, you're going to spend a lot of time on one leg. Even when you're running, there's one leg off the ground, there's one leg on the ground. When you're jumping, you're two legs off the ground, but you might be landing on one leg. Sometimes when you're striking, this leg might be in front and the other leg behind, or this leg is off the ground and that leg is behind. So you'd be very good at standing on one leg to hurt it. So here I go. One, two, three, four, five. That would be good. Now watch this. This is a hard move now. I keep one foot after and then change like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, everybody have a go at that again. One, two, three, four, five. Change. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and keep very steady so I'm not wobbling all over the place like this. Okay. Here I go again. One, two, three, four, five, and change. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, lovely. I'm going to keep up my legs. My legs are getting tired now. See, when we had the lockdown, I was coaching in schools every day, so I was doing this all the time. But now I'm not doing as much of it. And uh, when you're not doing as much, your legs get a bit tired. Okay, so if you're a bit tired now as well, that's okay. All right? So we're doing really well. Really, really well. Oh, my goodness. We're 26 minutes done. I thought we'd only six minutes done. So 26 minutes is really good. Okay, now I think we're going to bring in a ball. Okay? Today is absolutely fine. So I hope it's fine for you as well. Now, so I'm going to get my tennis ball. Okay? At this time, I'm going to pretend that my tennis ball is a doggy, a tiny doggy, and my hurley is the lead. And I'm going to walk this doggy in and out through the cone in the zigzag because I want my doggy to get very good at the agility as well. Look, here we go. In and out like that, and that. Lovely. Okay. So all the children, they want to try this out running. Okay, ready to go. Running, running, doggy running. Running, doggy. Running, doggy. running the doggy through it. Good stuff. Running the doggy through it. Like that. Okay, take it as a rest for 10 seconds. And you can go again. Young children, if you don't have a ball, you can just use your hurley. Walk your hurley through the cold back and back it up. Okay, so he's going to do this now for about a minute. So you can do whichever one you want. Walk the doggy, run the doggy, or just pretend your hurley is the doggy. And maybe the shadows are ringing Max, their dog. Through the, the circuit. In and out there like that, zigzagging, and watch the lovely shapes my wrist makes as I go along my wrist. I'm becoming a riskier hurler. So, parents, you're seeing this now as well. What is this doing? What is this doing for your child for their fundamental movement skills? For their, first of all, for their cardiovascular exercise. Okay, next of all, for their agility, which is the ability to move in different directions with two words, ease and confidence, okay? So a lot of children don't start off with ease and confidence when they're learning to walk, okay? Or they're learning to stand up. There's no ease, there's no confidence, but as their coordination develops, okay, and they need to, they, they, they get some assistance from you, they can become better and more proficient at it and get more confident and walk with more ease. So when you see them then, you like the way they're moving, okay? Every child has a dominant foot, okay? So you might see them going like this all the time, maybe favoring their right foot and their right foot stays in front. So you might try and help them with that. You might notice that. You might say, oh my goodness, I'd like them to use their left foot a little bit more. So that's why when they're going through here, right foot. And then the change, you put out your left foot, okay? And then you put your right foot. So now the children are using their two feet in equal measure. And instead of having one good foot and one bad foot, they have two good feet. That's what we'd like to see. Okay, good stuff. So we're very good here now. We're doing really, really well. Okay, now, this is for all the children. A nice little challenge here as we're going along. Let's go back to my beanbag again. Back to my beanbag, okay? So the one that we did. 
I'm going to try and do a down catch this time. Like this. A down catch. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll turn up my camera now a little bit. Put it out a little bit there. Sorry. Now, on the way back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so try that now again. Okay. Get your down catches. So watch what the down catches. My head goes down and it gets very much snapping the ball. Keenan Shaw, the limit recorder, is fantastic at this. He's got what's called really good dexterity. He can make different shapes with his hands. He can throw off different hand passes, even behind him and when he's rising the ball. So getting dexterity with your hand is a big part of hurling. So here I go again now. One, two, three, four, five. And as I start getting livelier on my feet, as I start getting livelier on the feet, the challenge increases. So watch now, the challenge increases. So if my feet are getting good, I can move that a bit more swiftly. And it's hard to get five down. One, two, oh, my feet like that. So this will happen. Here I go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super. Okay. Try that again now, everybody. Okay, get your feet moving as we're in your hand. See the ease of the feet movement? Okay, being able to move right, being able to move left. Okay, super stuff. So these are all fundamental movement skills, and fundamental movement skills are skills that cannot be done without. So you can't do without agility. You can't do without running. Okay, you can't do without jumping. You need these skills. They're essential to your child's development. Leave aside hurling. Okay? Lovely stuff. Brilliant. Is that too easy? And I don't think it is. But I'll tell you a story that the best child with 10 that I ever saw, that did 7 meters, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this is 4 meters. So another 3 meters. 3 meters out, 3 meters back. The best score I ever saw was 17. Okay, down catches in that space. Now the feet must be moving past because sometimes children think they can do this one watch. One, two, three, four. But if the feet aren't moving, we can't count that as a as a skill. Because the skill is something that you do at speed. Now, that's what we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's watch an Aaron Galan. The delivery corner and the all star. And he did this in Co Park in a match. It's only been done 22 times ever in Co Park. This skill. Tony Kelly did it. Aaron Gillan did it. Okay. So it's a good skill to have, but you want to be very, very confident. So again, this is a good one here. Something that you can do at home, in the house, which is pretty safe. And again, watch my wrist. My light hardly helps, and I'm only tip my thumb is tipping it down. But the hardy does not come up, because I want the time for the hardy to pop. Okay, and just while I'm here. Jordan there for a second. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it at that for today. Okay, we have 24 minutes done, which is excellent. There's been a great crowd on. I, I see the loads of thumbs up, which is lovely to see as well. Okay, play this back if you want tomorrow. Okay, Michal Duffy is coming on Thursday and he's doing a similar session, but it'll be done in football. And we'd love to clear GA for every child to play hurling and to play football and get real enjoyment from daily games, okay? So, thanks very much, and I'll see you all again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.